Khan here for seconds out with light heavyweight talent Khalil Co in Las Vegas wearing the royal blue I think it is we call it over in the UK we've got the blue mic here too we're matching Khalil how you doing I'm good man I appreciate you having me it's good to have you it's good to speak to you too good fight coming up this weekend um it's interesting not many fighters who are coming up have the record that you have in the sense of the fighters that you've fought um, you fought like 5 and 0s, 7 0s, that sort of type of record. Has that been something that's important to you to heading into this fight? Another undefeated fighter to be fighting fighters that, you know, haven't had that sense of defeat before? Definitely. You know, um, it's it's building up the resume. You know, um, I want to make sure my resume, when we go back, when it's time to, for that for that shot, for the title, I don't want the who, ha who have you fought, what have you done, you know? I want them to go back and see that I have a. Uh, a credible um, resume and there's no excuses, you know. And this this will be another one added to the to the to the books. Are you the type of guy that particularly studies the opponents heading into the fight? Do you leave that to your team, or do you like to watch the tape of the person that's standing in the opposite corner to you? Um, actually, I'm not really a fan of watching the film because I feel as though you know, um, they're not gonna fight me how they fought the last person. You know, um, I'm not the I'm not I'm not bringing anything that the last guy he fought brung to the table or to the ring, you know, so um, the energy is going to be different, the power is going to be different, the speed, so I have to uh, just go and adjust and go off of what my corner sees, you know, my corner watches film, you know, bad habits and things like that, but um, we'll just adjust in the corner, whatever they see, we just, we work from there, ring by, round by round. How well-rounded a fighter do you feel you are heading into, you know, that journey to the top and where you want to get to? How far into you becoming the best version of yourself do you feel you are? Definitely, I'm. Um, I feel like I have all the components, you know, to 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 be the the, the top fighter in the, in this weight class. You know, speed, the 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 wisdom, the power. You know, the, like so. I feel like I have I have every, I have everything. You know, I'm not one of those fighters that you be like, oh, he just has power, or he's just fast, or you know, um, or he's just dog. That's that's it. You know, I can I can switch it up. I can adjust. You know, and I feel like that's what you need in this in this sport, being able to adjust to any 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 fighter on the spot. Do you feel like you have to do a lot of that uh, this weekend? Um, definitely. You know, the guy, he's he's 20, no 18 knockouts. He's a little experienced. He's going to be trying to bring, like, little tricks and little things he's, he, he knows, but it's nothing I can't handle. Just get your thoughts on the light heavyweight division for thriving and moving light heavyweight division right now. This weekend as well sees Josh Boatsy take on Dan Aziz. Have you got your eye on that fight outside of, of course, your own fight this weekend? You've got to uh, get through. You know, um, because those are, those are the type of guys I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to get in there with. You know, So I'm definitely keeping an eye out. Um, we'll see what's, who's who and what's, what's, what everyone's doing. You know, Keeping tabs so I know who to call. Well, talk about in the matchroom 5v5 the potential of anti Yard versus Callum Smith. I wonder about you getting in the match room five before I even get into that light heavyweight picture. I, w I would love to, you know. Um, I've I've heard about it, you know. They uh matched me up with some I can't remember the guy's name, but um some guy. And I mean, I'm willing to do it. You know, it would be it would be a great experience to 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 compete on that five on five. Appreciate your thoughts on what you saw in Baturbiev versus Smith. How did you feel that? Uh, Baturbiev was able to get the successes over Smith to get the victory. Um, I actually called that fight. But I missed it by a round. Uh, I called it a six-round knockout. You know, Caleb was doing good. He was doing great boxing, and he just let him get too close. You know, and uh, like we said, better be he's he's he's, he's a strong fighter, man. He's 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 his jab. He's he makes sure he he he. It's just consistent. You know, he breaks down, breaks you down, and he makes you he breaks your will. You know, but um, I, overall, I feel like um, Caleb did his best. Uh, shout out to both of the fighters, and uh, the better man won. Does it do anything to change your decision on who wins out of Batubia versus Bibble if that gets over the line? Um, I, I actually kind of did because at first I was thinking Bivol, but I don't, I don't know, man. To me, uh, better be he's like that, that pressure that he has is like crazy, you know. And 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 it's like sometimes he pressures you, sometimes he backs up, you know. And it's like even with his jab, it looks like it's a a, a right hand or backhand, so. Listen, you just got to come up with the right game plan. I, th I think he's capable of getting it done, though, uh, Bivol. Just going back to um, the 5 5 or just in general, if you could pick a British light heavyweight that you'd like to face this year, who is that British light heavyweight? Uh, Bwati. Definitely would like to fight uh, Bwati in the 5v5, uh, you know, or however you say it. But definitely, that's one of the um, one of the names, if not the top name, that uh, I want to um, enter the ring with. Just in general, why Boatsy do you want to 
test yourself against him? Because he's the uh, he's the guy, you know. He's he's a um, great fighter, you know, and you, you can only test yourself against those who are great, you know. And uh, if I beat him, then I know that I'm I'm really who I say I am. You get to prove that as well this weekend. Khalil, good, sp good to speak to you. Looking forward to your fight this weekend. Thanks for taking us out. Thank you.